Greetings and welcome back to the 60 Minute Arena. This is where competitors create custom maps for Minecraft in 60 minutes or less. Using a random theme, they compete against each other in various seasons. This season is the ladder tournament. Today I am proud to announce a new contender in the ladder tournament. Welcome to Wibbly. And Wibbly will be going up against Hawkminer. Hawkminer's trail has led him far up through the ranks of the ladder, both in single player matches and in team up matches as Team Hawk Labs. But now Hawkminer will face Wibbly on his own. Good luck to both of you and may the best map maker win. All right, here we go. Hawkminer entry. Wealth and cow. High. To be even. I think that's... It's not really providing symmetry. Anyway. Hey again, welcome to another 60 minute map. With Hawk Miner, you're a simple cow farmer who wants to be wealthy. So you start a milk producing business. Have fun earning money. Note you're in survival. Don't break blocks. Okay? Alrighty. Get another bucket. Costs 10. Upgrade bucket. Encouragement for faster milkers. Cows on conveyor belts. Okay. Sell milk. Hire a milker. Buy a factory. Okay. Why work when you can do it for me? Hire a milker. A ton of money. All the things. I sell milk. So these are... I don't know what those are yet. Okay. Is this high? This is high. Milk, a bucket, and a cow. Name me. I would, except I don't think I have any XP. Nope, don't have any XP. So I can't. Pretty sure. Nope, can't. Bug. It's a soft bug. Oh, well. Name me. <laughs> okay, I have one bucket of milk. Let's sell it. We got three bucks for a bucket. Three bucket bucks. Okay, I think I need ten to do anything. I'm going to hire another milker once I get to ten. I like these sort of management games. Let's see how good this one is. Alright, so we're going to have twelve here. A milker has been hired. Okay, where is the milker? Oh, I didn't think cows could get out. Oh, why well, can't... Oh, these are the achievements. Earn three. Well, where's the milker? Get another bucket for ten. Upgrade bucket for fifty. So is my milk production going... Oh, whoops. Is my thing going up sl slowly per milker? I've got six for myself. That milker doesn't really seem worth it. Oh, yeah. So he's... Boy, he's a slow milker. Now, it's going to take me... I can get up to 10k? Do I want to go for another bucket yeah that's gonna double my rate here and then I don't know if I can get another milker I think I can there we go so let's see I can either get 50 for a factory or 50 for factor faster workers I think the pacing of this might be a little bit slow. All right, let's hire a second. Let's hire a second milker. Upgrade the bucket. Double the milk value. I don't really know what's. Oh, wait, does that say 500? Oh, screw that. 
I don't really know the value of a milker versus upgrading my bucket. But as it is, this is taking a little bit of time. Twenty-seven plus six, right? Will be thirty-three. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. Let's hire a second milker. I'm curious if that's gonna actually make things go faster, or if there's only one milker. I would think if there's only one milker, that he would disappear. I kind of want to push the cow over into my milk production place because that will actually increase my time as well. Don't go too far, Bessa Bossa. There we go. Now we're cooking with milk. There's 50. Let's double the milk value. And um, let's see now, I should be getting six. Oh, yeah. Okay, that will definitely make things faster. Now, can I double the milk value again? If not, I would say the milker and the milk value doubler buttons should have gone away. Okay, we're at 50 again. Oh, it did go away. Okay, so next is faster milkers for 150. Do I want to go ahead and get another bucket? For 10. Buckets are 10. Milk is 6. Hmm. I actually want to get six more buckets. But I can't remember where the bucket thing is. It's over there. So let's do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, where are you? Best do best Akimus. Okay, come back over here. We're gonna we're gonna jam on the moolah. Moolah. I feel like there could be some moolah jokes in here. <laughs> now into the milking station. I'm actually gonna play this one. Oh, fudge you. I'm actually going to play this one to the conclusion because I want to see how it goes. It might be a little bit slow. Maybe I'll fast forward this. Probably not. Probably not. Was there something for 100? Oop. Was there something for 100? It's 150 and 500. Okay. I will almost get up to 150. Click. In this, if there was like two players competing and they could sabotage each other, yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe if this was a full-sized map. All right, let's go. Let's go hit the 150. Encourage faster milkers. Surprised you can't do that three times. I'm assuming what he's doing is increasing the clock speed. Those milkers are not that fast though. Okay, now we need to get to 500, right? 2,000, jeez. Hire a milker and a factory. Okay, that's what we're working on. It's gonna take a little while though. I have a, f I have a 
have a suspicion that milkers only happen once. Oh no, I just got two. I think. 500 though, that's so far away. If each of these buckets is worth six, I think it is. It's like, what, 75 buckets? That's a lot. Let's add a third milker. I don't know if that matters. I hope it does. And I hope their output is doubled. All right, I'll be back when I get to 500. Okay, we are approaching the 500 mark here and all this milking, I must say, it does a body good. White teeth, creamy skin, good strong finger muscles. Yeah. There we go, let's hire the factory. Hey, the factory light didn't go on. Did I not press the factory button? There we go. So what did that do? What did it do? I could get another bucket and I could get the cows on conveyor belts. All right, well, I don't see, oh yeah, there we go, 32, 33. Those must be my milkers. So each bucket's worth seven? Oh my gosh, it's gonna take me forever to get, oh, I can buy a second factory. All right, I'm just gonna buy a couple more milkers, I guess. I'm hoping that that's going to really skyrocket my production rate here. Because there's nothing else I can do. The pacing may be a bit off. I could buy a second factory. And I can get the conveyor belt thing. I'm watching the pace. Oh, it just jumped up to by 10. Okay, it's gaining fairly well. Come on, cow. You've you've mistakenly gone where you where no cow has gone before. Um Hmm. This is still going to take a long time though. I may Oh, like, okay, I guess I could get a second factory. Seven per milk doesn't seem that much. Okay, we may do some massive fast forwarding. There we go. I think I looked at the redstone. I think the concept is that when I click these, armor stands are being summoned, so you can have more than one. But I think the scoreboard is always getting set to one. So even if you have more than one, I'm not sure that it's counting anyway. So now, let's see how fast is money gaining here. It's not really gaining that much faster. This is going to take quite a long time to get to... 10,000. Hmm. Okay, let's quote unquote fast forward. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoops, 10,000. Yikes. There we go. There we go. The light went on. So I will say that I failed to, my patients failed to manually get up to that amount. But when you get up to that amount, nothing actually happens anyway. <laughs> so let's just see if this goes a lot faster. Or 
Thirty seven. Forty. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's not growing very fast. I would say a tiny bit of tweaking on the pacing of this. Otherwise, a really cool mini game. All right, here we go. A 60 minute map by a new contestant, Wibbly. How a tree is made. Okay, let's start. Sapling, please help me grow big. <laughs> I like this already. Look at this cute little thing here. Make me a pair of diamond boots. Whoa. Charcoal red sand. Diamond. I don't really care for digging through all these chests, but it's fine. Who said make me a pair of diamond boots? I'm like going through somebody's storage here. Adventure mode. Very nice. That name Wibbly is familiar, but I'm not sure exactly why from. Okay, there's three diamonds. Interesting. There's a lot of random junk. I like it. Actually, not that much random junk, but I like the selection. And I'm in adventure mode, so I can't inadvertently stick that bedrock down somewhere. There we go. Okay, diamond boots. Let's do it. Okay, they were taken. But the sign's still there and nothing got said. Okay, well, let's do the redstone puzzle next. Uh, the goal seems to be to power the command block. Oh, what's this? What's this? A secret passage? What's that do? I'm not sure what that does. Okay, so basically we have to get... Hmm, there's a lot of things here. There's a lot of things. What did that actually do? I know not what it did for my country. Something is supposed to put a block here. Unless it's supposed to be my red sand? No. Oh, they pulled it. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Is that correct? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I think I'm supposed to push it here. Totally may have broken it. I totally may have broken it just now. Yeah, I think I did. Shoot. Shoot and shucks. Okay, that's off. So this needs to come off. This needs to come off. Oh boy. I wish I hadn't just broke that. Okay, I think this is holding it on. This is coming from the fact that this is off. 
But this is on anyway. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything, unfortunately. I think I broke it. The only thing I could do is manually fix it, or at least what I think I was supposed to do. So I was actually supposed to I was supposed to press this, then that. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do. Oh. Wait, everything is off. Oh, everything is off. So what happened? Uh, let's do this. And did I get this legitimately? No, that was creative mode, right? So hold on a second here. Oh, and I got this on. So that powered the command block. What did the command block do? Five eighteen one oh two five oh. Okay, so it worked. But no, like, message went off. Same thing with the boots. Hmm. Oh. Oh. The tree grew a little bit. I don't think... Wait, did the tree grow because of my actions? Or did it just grow because it was a sapling? I'm not certain. Whoa. Oh, down? Okay. This parkour is not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm not sure why there had to be lava, but Okay, so that, I mean, the fact that this was done in only 60 minutes, I'm not going to complain about the lack of user feedback. Uh-oh. Where was I supposed to go from there? Uh-oh. Okay, the tree is growing. Now, if I go into the nether, that's not going to trigger anything in the real world I don't think well, let's see we're definitely missing some story along the way oh this isn't a good sign that's not a good sign at all start oh okay I thought maybe they were piggies now what am I getting rotten flesh for What am I getting? And why is this in the nether? Did I do it? The end. What a beautiful tree. I don't see it. Where is it? I don't... I don't... Uh, what just happened? <laughs> What happened? I think it TP'd me, but I'm in the nether, so it's TP'ing me in the nether, not in the real world. And it's trying to kill me. But it's not succeeding. Your home or bed was missing or obstructed. There we go. There's the tree. Oh, that was a nice idea. I like the concept. You have to do four small puzzles parkour combat searching and redstone to make the tree grow but i would have liked 
uh, it to be like a, some sort of message when you do each one of those so that you know you were succeeded and then the end should well basically don't do that one last so maybe gate these off or something like that but cool concept nice job Wibbly welcome to the ladder all right in this episode we had Hawk Miner presenting us with Moo for Money which was basically a sim management game where you are earning money by milking cows, opening factories, etc. And we had Wibley's map, How a Tree is Made. Now, first off, both, both of these maps had, I would say, fairly similar pacing uh, type issues. So in Hawk Miner's map, uh, once you get past, let's say, 10 or 20 dollars and you get into the higher uh, end game things go very slow it takes a long time to get your milk um, I ended up fast forwarding that for the camera but not the most egregious of errors if that's what he was going for but I feel like the pacing could have been sped up with cheaper prices Wibley's map was pretty cool you go through multiple branches and each branch you solve you make a tree grow uh, however, you don't always see the tree grow, and there was um, one branch, if you do the nether branch last, which I just did by random happenstance, uh, you will actually not get teleported properly to the tree, and uh, the map is kind, kind of messed up at that point. You have to kill yourself. So basically, two, I would say, pacing issues cancel each other out. I did like the visual build of Wibbly's map better. Uh, I obviously really liked the uh, mechanics, uh, the idea, a management game of uh, Hawk Miner's map. So those almost cancel each other out. Um, as far as, as unique themes go, I think both of them were unique in the concept, which is to make a tree grow and to manage uh, basically a business. Um, but the branches in Wibley's map, you know, those were pretty standard multi-genre branches. Uh, so from a mechanics perspective, you weren't really doing anything new. But from Hawkminer's perspective, you weren't really doing anything other than pressing buttons. So both of these maps, uh, and I'm, I focused a bit on the negatives, sorry about that. But basically both of these maps have some strong pluses and some strong minuses. And... I guess that means I'm just going to have to go with my gut for the one that I enjoyed the most. And I would say, to be honest with you, by a hair's breadth, uh, I think I'm going to go with Hawk Miner's map. And, and again, this is because it is a sim management game that um, I really enjoy those kind of maps. I don't think we have enough of those maps in the community, whereas Wibley's map was kind of standard ctm-ish sort of format but a cool monument nice special effects uh definitely in in wibley's map and i really appreciate you joining the tournament but i'm gonna just go with hawk miner on this one so congratulations to hawk miner good luck to both of you in the rest of the tournament tomorrow november 30th is the last day that maps can be submitted for this tournament so if you are planning to enter and join this colorful rainbow ladder, do so soon. It only takes 60 minutes or less.